the most under-discussed issue all around the world is that there are many criminal organizations and gangs known for their brutality and violence in the world, which is a subject that few people are aware of. Welcome to Unimaginable. We are going to look at some dangerous and unimaginable gangs in the world that no one dares touch, but before we begin, remember to click the subscribe button below the video and push the bell icon. These are the most unimaginable gangs in the world. These are families you would be thankful not to belong to because they only hang together for the purpose of causing mayhem in their communities. Let us begin with Number 10. Asian Boys It is an Asian-American street gang that goes by the names Abs or Abs Crips, which is based in Southern California. The gang has members from around 1,300 to 2,000 individuals. Asin Boys engages in drug trafficking and robbery. Asian boys are involved in 28 cities in 14 states across the United States. Their gang color is blue and navy, and their tattoo depicts a dragon head with crystal globes, which are symbols of high rank with OG status. Number 9. Aryan Brotherhood Aryan Brotherhood, which is perhaps the white people gang of all time, with a current membership of 20,000 men in and out of jail. The Aryan Brotherhood has a reputation for racism and brutality. It was formed at San Quentin State Prison in the late 1960s to combat increasing Afro-American groups, but it eventually became one of the most powerful organizations, responsible for 20% of prison murders. Although it comprises less than 1% of the prison population, its major activities are drug trafficking, extortion, and prisoner prostitution and murder for hire. Each applicant must demonstrate their commitment to the gang by killing another inmate of a different race. The motto of the Aryan Brotherhood gang is blood in and blood out, and that means the only way out is death. Number 8. Crips Crips was founded in Los Angeles by Raymond Washington and Stanley Williams, who based the gang on coastal regions of Southern California. It is the second largest gang in the United States with around 35,000 members. The Crips are a primarily black street gang that was founded by incarcerated members of the Afro-Americans in Los Angeles, California in the 1960s. The colors used to identify themselves with criminal activities include drug dealing, robbery, murder, and illicit theft. The Crips affiliate themselves with black or blue hues or a combination of both. Although there are also white and Asian members as a result of the crack epidemic in the 1980s in major urban areas of the country. In order to profit from distributing such drug as cocaine, the Crips grew in number and influence, resulting in increasingly violent behavior. Number 7. Bloods the Bloods is a street gang that originated in Los Angeles, California in the 1970s and has approximately 25,000 members who wear red to identify themselves. In response to the growing prominence of Crips, this group was formed in 1972 in Los Angeles as well. Bloods had taken over cities in the United States following the crack epidemic that swept through major cities. Following their distribution on sale, Bloods made money, and there were bloody confrontations with rivals gang Crips to such an extent that it was turned into film, so new recruits must establish a vicious reputation to gain the confidence of leaders, and the majority of them are young Afro-Americans recruited straight from school. If you ever believed there was nothing worse than being at school, perhaps being with the Bloods would be worse. Number 6. Nuestra Familia This is the mortal foe of the Mexican Mafia. Nuestra Familia was founded in 1968 by a group of inmates from prisons of Fresno who were tired of abuses of the, the Mexican Mafia owing to the fact that most of them hail from rural areas. Because they were formed in metropolitan city of Los Angeles, southern members of the Mexican Mafia regarded them as inferiors. The deadliest drug war in the history of the United States began with this rivalry, which resulted in numerous deaths between both gangs. The primary activity of these groups is the distribution of cocaine, heroin, marijuana, and methamphetamine. Unlike other Mexican gangs, membership can also be utilized by non-Latin inmates, indicating that they must make a bloody bargain to put the gang before money, drugs, or family. Number 5. 14K Triad 14K Triad was founded in 1949 after the Chinese Civil War and confined to Hong Kong. This Chinese crime organization, which has transformed the island into one of the major heroin and opium suppliers throughout Asia, 
This triad was distinctive because of its aggressiveness and lack of overall control by a leader beyond the island. With members outside locales, it was known throughout the world as being one of the most powerful triads in operation in Chinese communities in several Western countries today. With 25,000 followers and a market presence of the narcotics distribution in Hong Kong, it is still one of the most notorious crime organizations on Earth. Number 4. Black Gorilla Family Unlike various criminal organizations, the Black Gorilla family was not established to defend African-American prison inmates. It was the Afro-American Marxist thought that brought them together, formed in 1966 by George Jackson, George Louis, and W.L. Nolan as a black people movement to fight racism in American prisons and overthrow the U.S. government, much like the Black Panthers movement at the time. The Black Gorilla family went off the rails and down a criminal path sooner rather than later, and it is now one of the most powerful Afro-American gangs in prison, with any organization drug trafficking or extortion being its specialty. In the past, new recruits had to stab white inmates to be accepted, however, that appears to be changing. Is not it more practical to use? Number 3. Mexican Mafia Despite its name, this gang was not formed in Mexico. It is as American as apple pie with the Mexican Mafia being the most powerful prison group in California, with almost 400 official members and 900 associate members who perform filthy work in the hopes of gaining admittance. The Latin Kings was created in 1957 by Hispanic gangsters from various neighborhoods of Los Angeles to defend themselves against other gangs, and its membership rapidly grew. It became one of the most feared and well-respected gangs in the early 1960s as a result of it. The Mexican Mafia does not have a leader, but certain members may issue orders of deaths on behalf of the organization. To provide information about their families and pasts, new candidates must be Hispanic. If they do not do it or fail, they are often punished by being murdered or robbed. This is a one-time opportunity test that can only be completed once. Number 2. Bamboo Union the name Bamboo Union may make one think of a flower shop, but the organization is actually one of the most powerful criminal organizations in Taiwan with over 10,000 members. Although they consider themselves businesses, their trade is organized crime, drug trafficking, extortion, and the silencing of journalists who seek to learn more about them, which was founded in mainland China in the 1950s. The gang quickly moved to Taiwan where it flourished like bamboo by the 1980s and thrived there until the 1990s. But it is not the older generation of triad thugs that are most dangerous. It is the younger gangsters who have yet to earn their chops in crime. They are really into status symbols, money, and cars. They love making money fast, being flashy with expensive toys, and showing off. The younger generation of triad members has grandiose plans for unbridled success and power over others as criminal bosses or government leaders all told. There is a real sense of optimism among them about what lies ahead. The pandemic reached Northern California via the smuggling of purloined goods, especially through the bamboo unions. In different areas, as in many other countries prior to globalized world of today outbreak and epidemic, it was difficult for law enforcement authorities to reach all members of a gang due to their hierarchical nature. The rising spread of marijuana in America impacted the power structure of this entire organization. Some drug activity did not have much influence on local or state levels, while others had significant influence. Number 1. Mara Salvatrucha Number 1 in our list belongs to Mara Salvatrucha, or MS-13. The most anticipated gang in our selection, Mara Salvatrucha in the worldwide criminal and violent gang formed in Los Angeles, commonly known as MS-13. It is recognized for its savage tactics and rivalry with the 18th Street Gang, which it is engaged in many locations around the world, including Canada, Mexico, and Central America. It is the largest gang in the world with 8 to 10,000 members in the United States and 30 to 50,000 across the world. Human and drug trafficking, child prostitution murder, money laundering, extortion, kidnapping, robbery, and illegal immigration, Gun sales, higher theft are all criminal activities of Mara Salvatrucha gang. In El Salvador, the MS-13 has more power than the national government. The Mara Salvatrucha holds sway over 94% of the 262 municipalities of the country that may be admitted, and each applicant must pay a visit to the neighborhood of any rival gang and kill one member or endure a 13-second beating upon entry. 
If you are in the MS-13, then it will be your family till death. Have you ever heard of any of the criminal organizations featured in this video, or do you know anything more? Please leave a comment below, and do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.